there guys, gals, non-binary pals, Jam Potter here, and today we are doing a book unhaul. So I have a big crate full of books that I've been collecting over the year that I'm not going to finish, that I'm not going to read, and I thought it would be fun to go over them and explain why I'm getting rid of them. So let's get into it. <laughs> On the top is the luminaries which if you watched my review of this book you understand why it's it's not a good book it's a beautiful cover it's beautifully illustrated but it's very it's very predictable it's very by the numbers it's very just frustrating to read honestly then we have timeline by michael crichton um I've read Sphere and I've read Jurassic Park and I enjoyed both of those. I loved this movie, so I was hoping that this one would be, you know, good, but it wasn't. It was just kind of boring. Like it's a lot of backstory and a lot of just blah. So this one, getting rid of it. Then we have Congo by Michael Crichton again, this, the same reasons. Um, I also did a review of this one. And it is not worth keeping. It wasn't worth reading the first time, much less the second time. So. Then we have One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. This one was cute. Like, it was a cute story, but I think it's a once funny. Like, once you've read it, you've read it. And then that's the end of it. So, this one was fun, was cute. Glad I read it. Not going to reread it. This one, On Writing by Stephen King, I am getting rid of because somehow I ended up with two copies. I went to go pull my copy from the shelf, and there were two of them sitting side by side on the shelf. So this one is a duplicate, so I'll probably donate this one. But yeah, I don't know why I have two copies. I guess I bought one a while ago and then bought another one because I forgot I bought the first one. Because it's a really good book. I know, I have two copies of it. So... Then we have Payback's a Witch by Lana Harper. This one, this one was very predictable feeling. It was very, just not, not good. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It's a solid three stars, but it's, it's not worth keeping. It's not worth rereading. It just, it's blah. Then we have Deadly Class, which this one I did a review on. Um, it's it's boring. It's like it's it feels like it's trying too hard. Like it felt like it was trying too hard, and I had such high hopes. I was so excited for this one, and it just let me down. So then we have Connected, which I got in a blind date with a book. This was my spicy novel. It was more tawdry than spicy, I would say. Like, it wasn't good spicy. It was just kind of... Like, if you're gonna push things as far as this book did, you should commit and push them just a little bit farther. Or pull them back. But this one just... It, it didn't go far enough, or maybe it went too far. I'm, it's, it's in that awkward middle zone where it's just not very good so then we have carry on by rainbow rowell which i also reviewed this one i did not enjoy it um i'll link that one up in the cards it's just eh. it's a wish fulfillment fanfic of a book that doesn't exist so then we have the ship who sang which i again i reviewed this one and it's not as good as The Ship Who Searched, which is one of my favorite books. I've re I have reread that one after I read this one, just to make sure that one doesn't suck. And it doesn't, so I'm not sure where this one gets off. So, uh, This one I got... I either got this one at a used bookstore on clearance, or I got it from a blind date with a book that I... that the film got corrupted, because I had a couple of those this year that the that the, the blind date, the unboxing got, the file got corrupted. So I'm not sure which this comes from. 
it's it's cloying it's trying to be something and it's clearly not like it's not trying to be something it's not it's just not it's not good it's not moving it's not endearing it's not tear jerking or heartbreak it's it's very rote and it's just no Then we have Claude and Camille, which this one I did get from a blind box that I didn't film. Uh, this one is supposedly Monet and Camille and their love story. And uh, this one was a did not finish. I tried to get into it. I really tried. I just didn't like the author's writing. So this is a did not finish, not gonna finish, not gonna keep it. This one, um, again, I think I got at a used bookstore, um, the uh, the end of her by Shari Lapena. It just it wasn't. This is another did not finish. It wasn't very good. So then we have two owl crate, two more owl crate books. Uh, we have, well, no, this one's Once Upon a Book Club. This is Beasts of Prey. Which, this one is, is that book club where, like, they stick post-it notes in the book and, like, when you get to page 40, you open a, you open a, a box and you get a prize. And it's a cute gimmick. It, the book itself wasn't very good, so. And then this one is Owlcrate. This is The Depths. And I reviewed this one and it's supposed to be spooky and, and eerie and it just, it just isn't. It's just... It's not good. It's one of those, once you read the the synopsis blurb, you've read the book, and so you might as well just stop. So. This one I'm getting rid of. Um, it's an audiobook on CD. It's a full cast audio. It's Thor's Wedding Day. Uh, the Blushing Bride Needs a Shave, and it's... It's a little transphobic. It's based on the Norse myth about uh, how Thor uh, pretended to be Freya. And it, it's cute, but it's a little... It's kind of dated. This one is from 2006. And it's, it's just a little dated. I think it was dated then, probably. But getting rid of this because it's a book on tape. I don't need a book on tape. I have audiobook subscription. Then we have another book that I have that's a duplicate. This one, I was looking for my copy, couldn't find it, ordered a new copy. As soon as this one arrived, I found my copy. So this one, um, well, actually, as soon as the return window was closed, this one showed up. So this one, I've asked friends uh, if anybody wants it. Nobody said that they do. So this one I'm getting rid of. I've got a Spanish dictionary. This is another duplicate. Um, I don't need two Spanish English dictionaries, so I'm part of this is just decluttering. I like to declutter every now and again. A Court of Thorns and Roses. This was bad. This was really, really, really bad. I read it because everyone's like, oh, Sarah J. Maas, so good. You have to read her. She's amazing. I read this one and I got halfway through the next one and that one I just didn't finish because I'm like, I don't care about any of these characters at all, not even a little bit. And it's just like, if I don't care, I don't care. Then we have the color purple, which this one, it's an important book, but it's not one that I'll read again, I'm afraid. So this one I'm getting rid of. Then we have School Spirits, which was a blind date with a book for a young adult. This one was pretty bad. Like this one was pretty, pretty bad. It's set up, it's supposed to be a spin-off to start a new series, but nowhere on it. Does it say that that's the case? 
And so parts of the reading it, I was lost, but I wasn't lost enough to really look into it. I was just kind of lost and bored. Like I was lost and I didn't care that I was lost, which is not, not good. I have Paper Castles by B. Fox. This is an indie book. Um, I bought it off the author. He was advertising on Twitter. Um, I like to buy indie author title on Twitter or wherever I come across them to support the author. This one, I don't want to say anything bad because it's a self-published. It takes a lot of strength and a lot of, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of self preservation and a lot of self-motivation to get put yourself out there and that's impressive. I just didn't like this one. So it could be that I'm not the target audience. I don't know, but I, I just didn't care for it. Pull up two because I'm getting to the bottom. Uh, I have We Are the Wildcats by Siobhan Vivian. And this one, I guess I'll link this one up there too. This one was real bad. This one deals with grooming in a way that they're not saying no to grooming. Like they're not saying yes, but at no point do these children say, hey, let's find an adult. Like they're being taken advantage of, they're being pushed beyond their limits, bad things are happening. And at no point do they say, hey, let's talk to an adult. When they all have the sorts of adults in their lives that they could easily and comfortably talk to about this. Then we have The Donut Trap, which this one was really good. It was really cute. I'm just not going to reread it. So nothing against the book or the author. I just... It, it's a once funny and I read it and it was fun and I enjoyed reading it. I'm glad I read it, but I'm done. And I have The Downstairs Girl by Stacy Lee. This is a historical fiction. I wanted to get into it. I got this one at Costco because it looked interesting. And I just, I just didn't get into it. Like it, it, it was, it had all the promise of being amazing and fantastic and exciting. And it just wasn't. Then we have Dean Koontz, the other Emily. So this one I reviewed, I hated it. <laughs> yes, phone. This one I reviewed, I absolutely hated it. I thought it was awful. No, bad book. Then we have The Babysitter's Coven, which this book took so long to coven. Like, it's supposed to be about witches and witchcraft, and, like, it takes so long to get there that it just, again, it wasn't good. I almost didn't finish it. I did finish it, but I almost didn't. Then we have this one, which is Like the First Time which I got as a um, blind date with a, with a romance novel. This one was so bad. The dialogue was cheesy. The writing was bad. I couldn't think of a single nice thing to say about it at all. Because even the syntax wasn't good. Like, it was just bad. One, easily one of the worst books of the year. And then we have Starter House. This is a didn't finish. I just didn't get into it. So, not, not my thing. And we have The Painting of Sarah DeVos, which I believe I got as a blind date with a book. Didn't finish it. Couldn't get into it. The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. No, just no. Not the Witch You Wed by April Asher. This one was bad cheese. This one was a cheese fest and it was bad cheese. And this is one of those books where they're like fighting against option A, the whole book. And then at the end, when they finally get to option B, which is what they've been wanting, they're like, well, let's do option A anyway. No. Okay, 
last two books. So we have Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. I love Maleficent. This one did Maleficent dirty. Like it was supposed to be like, what if Maleficent had won and Sleeping Beauty never woke up and then she does. Okay, cool. And we have Jay's Gay Agenda, which this one, this one's a solid three or four stars. I don't know. I, I'm not going to reread it. It was, it was a good book-ish. Like, it wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was just kind of there. So let me tally up these books real quick. I'll be right back. I've got uh, 33 books. One of them I didn't show you because it was yet another Spanish dictionary, which... I don't need that many. I have Google Translate. So 33 books that I am unhauling, which I think is pretty impressive. So uh, do you have any books that you need to declutter that you're looking to sell, donate, get rid of? Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.